What's up guys, for today's video, we're taking a look at the all new 2023 Hyundai Santa Fe Limited. Then I'll show you many of the features on the interior, exterior, and we're taking a look at this SUV's five years cost to own at the end of the video. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So first let's start with pricing. So the Santa Fe comes with three configurations you can choose from. The Santa Fe gas engine that starts at 28,750. The Santa Fe hybrid that starts at 36,210. And the Santa Fe plug-in hybrid that starts at 42,410. And it comes with two available drivetrain you can choose from. The front wheel drive that starts at 28,750. And the all wheel drive that starts at 30,450. And it comes with five available trims you can choose from. The base model SE that starts at 28,750. And it goes all the way up to 42,600 for the calligraphy trim. My tester is the limited and has a starter sticker price of 40,600. And the engine on a Santa Fe is a 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder that makes 277 horsepower at 5,800 RPMs and 311 pound feet of torque at 1,700 RPMs. Connected to an eight speed automatic transmission that sends the power to the front wheels and it can tow up to 3,500 pounds. And as for fuel economy, this SUV makes 22 miles per gallon city 28 miles per gallon highway with an 18.8 .8 gallon fuel tank capacity. So my tester is the limited trim which comes standard with those 19 inch alloy wheels, this massive panoramic sunroof, surround view monitor, Harman Kardon premium speaker system, the blind spot monitor camera, LED headlights and many more. And my tester is finished in stormy sea metallic exterior color and has the beige leather interior. And has a standard sticker price of 38600 Few protective options were added, totaling $685, which made Matesser has a window sticker of 40460 after options, shipping, and handling. So on the driver door you have the window controls, both driver and passenger side windows fully automatic. Right below it you have the rear window lock, lock and unlock, mirror controls and your power folding mirrors. You also have a chrome door handle with two stage memory seat. You have the door grab handle, Harman Kardon speaker system, a bottle holder along with a storage. And on the left hand side of the steering wheel you have your brightness, lane keep assist, lift gate release, traction control and your electronic parking brake. And on the steering wheel, you have the three-spoke leather-wrapped steering wheel. On the left-hand side, you have the phone commands with your radio controls. On the right-hand side, you have the cruise control with the forward collision warning and the lane keep assist along with the controls for the instrument cluster screen. And behind the steering wheel, on the right-hand side, you have the windshield wiper controls. And on the left-hand side, you have the turning signal stock with your automatic lights. And on the screen, on the left hand side you have the speeds, on the right you have the tachometer, and in the middle you have your attention warning, you have speed, drive info, you have your navigation route, and you have the tire pressure. And this also is fully customizable with your current drive mode. If you put it in sport, it changes to red and smart changes to white and blue and coming along the center you have the massive center screen 
right underneath you have the radio controls you have the shortcuts right here you have the climate controls with heated and vented seats you also have the 8-speed automatic transmission you have your mode selector auto stop auto hold you have the heated steering wheel parking sensor and the camera system You have a bird's eye view camera along with a front camera. Right over here you have the USB cup holder. Right here you have the wireless charging, another cup holder. And in the center you have a deep center storage with a small divider on the screen. You have your maps, your navigation menu, you have your Bluetooth connection, your phone projection for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you have voice memo, you have the climate control, you can either control it from the screens or from the buttons below. You also have valet mode, passenger talk, which you can talk to your third row seats, quiet mode, HD radio, regular radio, fully customizable settings. You also have media, sounds of nature, you have a few you can choose from. And you have blue link, notification, and user manual. On the window sticker, the standard vehicle price is 38,600. They added few options, which made this SUV has a window sticker of 40,460. Here's the fuel economy, and final assembly. And as you can see on this graph, the Santa Fe's five years cost to own at a price of $54,468 loss. The depreciation on this SUV in five years is $20,900 with the biggest hit in the first year of purchase. Fees in Texas paid is around $4,000 depends on the state you buy it in. Fuel paid in five years will cost you around $7,500 depends on the way you drive it. Insurance will cost you around $9,000 and interest comes at around $5,500. Maintenance was the most important factor will cost you around $4,700. And lastly, your prayers will cost you nothing for the first five years. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more amazing future videos.